In this video, we present the use of robotic platform in order to repair an incisional hernia. The surgery begins with a laparoscopic approach. After examining the adhesions and the nature of the hernia, it was felt that most of the dissection could be performed laparoscopically, thus minimizing the necessity of using some of the more expensive robotic equipment and the robotic equipment would then be utilized for the actual repair of the hernia. We're looking into the hernia sac. At this point, we introduce the mesh, which is the echo mesh. Utilizing the robotic approach with two instruments, we proceed to start closing the defect from the inside utilizing a barbed suture. The benefit of the barb suture is as you pull it, you can bring the two edges together and keep them together even though there's some tension. One of the useful techniques for this part of the case is to drop the pressure of pneumoperitoneum to a relatively low number such as six, thus allowing for the actual edges to come together a little bit more easily. The robotic approach allows for very easy suturing on the superior wall, something that would be very challenging to do laparoscopically. At this point, the two sutures from the different ends of the defect are tied together in the middle. Using a special retrieval device, the small loop on the mesh is brought out through the mid portion of the hernia defect. This will allow us to bring the mesh up to the interior abdominal wall. One of the benefits of this particular mesh is that the green component is like a balloon that you fill with air and it ultimately expands, thus allowing for the mesh to be held in place against the interior abdominal wall without the need to utilize an additional robotic arm to hold the mesh up to the interior abdominal wall. We now proceed to suture. We will start suturing at the halfway point and proceed uh, circumferentially halfway. Then another suture will be started and run circumferentially on the other half of the mesh. Utilizing a technique learned from one of the surgeons on the CRSA website, it was now possible to suture the mesh to the interior of the wall in a much faster and more efficient manner by simply running the suture 
instead of as a baseball stitch, to run it as a running stitch. And as one will see, it still allows for the mesh to be completely attached to the interior abdominal wall. After placing a couple of throws, one can go ahead and cinch up the mesh. And here you can see that the mesh is sitting nicely without being bunched up. The two sutures from the two ends are brought together and tied. We are now looking at the completed repair. At this point, one simply begins to pull away this green component and its attached uh, suture material. And ultimately, this will be removed from one of the 12 millimeter trocar sites. We also proceeded to close the 12 millimeter federal defects utilized for the camera site and the system port with a special closure device. And this is the complete view. Thank you for your attention.